Hello, my name is Axel. Welcome back to All the Mods 3. We are back here. How is everyone doing? I hope you are doing well. Um, we last episode set up um our little doohickey in uh, in the doohickey. So <laughs> we set up an RF Tools builder in the mining world to to speak better English. And um, I also got a couple more capacitor banks so I've got a little bit more uh, of an RF storage which is great I also made another another disc because uh, like you can see I'm 64% full and that is mainly from ores and whatever all of this stuff which is pretty good I I also I've also f I also found out how to filter stuff out of an RF tools builder and it is using a filter module and then you put that into the RF tools builder with you know the things that you want to either whitelist or blacklist and it sorts it out so we're not getting loads of cobble in here anymore and you can see I've got gravel dirt and andesite a little bit we are getting marble because I thought that might be useful I don't know um, I'm I'm totally all right for to keep that we shall see we shall see but anyway um, today I want to come concentrate on a few things we'll be moving to our base so we're gonna move some of this stuff around but what I'd also like to do is make some wind generators from mechanism and I sort of said I wanted to you know try some different RF power generation and I'm, I'm totally, you know, just doing wind generators because I know them, they're easy, they're good. What's that? A wind meter? I don't know why you'd want a wind meter, but that's interesting. Okay, um, not what we're doing. Wind generator, you can see here, um, the higher up you go, the better it is, basically. That's how these things work. And what is this? This is so many circuit boards in this pack. Basically, yeah, okay, fine. So I need, I think, a few of these and um, want to... Oh, really? Okay, fine. So each two of these makes one wind generator, uh, I believe. And I want to not use all of the gold and all of the enriched alloys. That's maybe another another two. Let's do that. That's what one, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty good. That's not bad. That is not bad. I think let's leave it there. We've got some gold left. Um, Sue... So, um, if we then do that, let's put all of you in there, and then do that as well. Can I? I just keep having to click it. Fair enough, there we go. We've got a lot of wind generators now, which is pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice. So the next thing we want is an angel block, uh, just because we can go up high then. Bam. I got feathers. Look at me being all prepared. Very good. Oh, we've got some emeralds as well. That's exciting and um, because I need them. I also need some. Um, I'm thinking the easiest way currently to transfer power around sort of wirelessly or at least, you know, over long distances are power cells. Um, they're just the cheapest and easiest it looks like uh, which I think is obviously what we want so we need I'm thinking advanced power cells they carry four million uh, four million yes the that's creative which oh so I think the advanced is the highest you can go then so we need two power cells to begin with and that's why we need the emeralds and we need some prismarine shards and prismarine shards we can get we can easily get from doing I think, should we just make eight for now? For now, I don't know if I'll need them from this. Atomic Reconstructor, there we go. Eight Prismarine Shards, lovely stuff. Let's make, uh, what have I not got? Oh, blocks, okay, we need eight of these. Hopefully, yeah, we've got enough, few. Uh, oh, and we need machine frames as well. Two of these, one, two, thank you, bam. There we go. One, two, excellent stuff. Um, and then, then we need to create these. So we, oh, we need another. Ooh, that might be, that might be a bit too much. I feel we're not going to get there. Oh, <laughs> we are not going to get there. We are so close. Okay, fine. And uh, let's work on the next thing. Infused diamonds. And uh, you can see it takes a diamond and then these dimensional shards. We don't. I don't think have any dimensional shards yet. I can't remember how you get them. You get them from ore. Um, and I th I don't believe we'd have any of those yet. 
No. There we go. We do not. We do not. Um, no, nope, power, sell, there we go. So the way you can get them is, as you saw there briefly, um, all of this stuff. All of that stuff, look at that. Uh, so we should be able to get one, two, three, four. And what have we not got? What was that bit there? Oh, is it ugh, more emeralds? <sighs> so I need to get more emeralds. So what I've been doing to get emeralds is, because they're quite hard to get just out of, you know, wherever, I've been going to villagers. There is a village... I can't remember where it is now. There's one ah, there's one here and one there. That that's what I've been using. So I'm gonna get some more redstone. I'm gonna get some of these. Oh, it's getting to be night time. Uh, and I want to set up some of this power. Now I don't know if I should set this up at the new place. That is probably the smarter thing to be doing. So I'm gonna set the well, I'm gonna get the rest of the stuff, and then we're gonna go over to the new area, which is just over there. Finally, finally we are here. Uh, I should be able to make there we go, there they are. Two of these. Re oh, really? Really? There we go. <laughs> now you've, there we go. There we go, we've got two advanced power cells. I've got two power cell cards, so we can link those together. Uh, I've got the wind generators, I've got the angel block, and I also picked up, since I had to go get some um, emeralds from the villagers over there, I picked up some waystones, so I've activated this one. So now we are going to go over to our new base area, and no, and I will I will show you it. And Oh, we need to fly over, so I need this as well, which has been slowly, very, very slowly <laughs> powering up. Um, yeah, the energetic infusers are very slow, very slow to power, 74%, we should be okay, so uh, let's head over there. And here we have it. Here we have the area that I've chosen, and it's, it's the biome is called Overgrown Cliffs, and it's just... It's just really cool. It's just really cool. Look at it. So there's a bamboo forest over there, which is pretty nice. Um, got a little astral sorcery temple, which is good. We've got uh, an A2 meteor. And then we have like this tallest mountain. It just looks um, rather stunning. And I really like the overgrown stone. Look at that. That is really cool. I, um, I just think it's a really nice biome and it's a little bit different i like the uh the really tall pointy mountains and all of it like it looks very green it's just very um it's very pleasing to the eye at least i think it is um so we're going to be doing some some cool builds around here i think like each of these like hills will have some stuff in and i think the central one here will be our main base and we might even i think build something on top of this maybe or around it i don't know yet i'm not sure um, but I definitely want to be doing some sort of maybe Aztec-y type building. You know, that sort of architecture, I'm thinking. Or at least, you know, as a jumping off point. So, I've started here. I've started here. Um, there we go. I've st Oh, look at that. I've even got some stuff still. I've started just hollowing this out. Just so that I have... I have a bit of space here. Are we gonna... No, we are not. Let's put this on fast mode. Uh, fast, there we go. Fast is great, but it does take a lot of energy. Like a lot of energy. <laughs> you can see how much I'm down already. I don't want to use it all. There we go, let's just, let's just do that. Let's switch it back to, to normal. 20 RF per, per use, basically. So here we are. What I'm going to do is we're going to switch over our base to this as the main as the main thing here. Um, so what we should do, let's put a couple of torches here and wherever, is let, let's put the waystone somewhere here. Um, I mean, maybe it goes in the middle? I don't know. Is this the middle? I mean, this is definitely the middle. Um, I don't know if it's the middle of this as well. I think I've made a square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yeah, so three, 
um, four, five, six, seven. That should be the middle. So this one should be the middle, and that should be the middle. Uh, Waystone name. Um, uh, over overgrown base. I don't know. Over. Let's just call it overgrown for now. We can always change that. I think. Bam! And we should now be able to go back and forward between the bases, which is pretty nice. And I think it should take um, XP in order to transfer. So that is that is fine. We can totally do that. So what we need to do now is let's just put these down for a second. We need to link these bad boys up. Um, what does it say? Link ID. Link ID 1. Link. Link ID 1. Excellent. That's what I wanted. Let's go over here, and we need to go to Y255, I think, for the wind generators from mechanism to work. Now, I will be I will be setting up more wind generators probably, but for now, I think I think this will do us. Uh, we're almost there. I think any higher than 255, and it basically doesn't add any extra benefit, which is fine. So two five six, there we go. That should do us. Let us have I got have I got I'm hoping that these um I'm hoping that the crescent hammer actually works. I know sometimes it's a little bit finickety to place these wind generators. So we shall see. Uh we shall see. So what let's put come on. Can I? Can I? Ah, right, that is the height limit, so, oh, that is irritating, that is so irritating, um, let's just do, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, right, so, that should be 255, though, still, yes, okay, excellent, phew, okay, so, if we put that here like that, uh, actually, I think we only need to do that, in order for this to work, and from what I can tell on the wiki, this should be basically a hundred. Can I not place these? Is this basically too high? Is this basically too high? That is real. <laughs> is that? Let's try here. Uh, what? <laughs> what? How did that place? Um. I'm so confused. Let's take off that. What is happening? What is happening? I finally got it to work and I just had to come down a little bit. So we should be able to now, and of course everything's facing the wrong way, but this wrench does allow us, come on, to move things around. Let's just go on here. There we go, bam. So this all should be should be doing stuff now. Previously, when I've done this, people have said upgrade your flux ducts, but I don't know if that's basically that. Oh, have I? Do I need to set this? I clearly do. Is this now? Yeah, this is now set to it. <laughs> everything. I think. That should be well. That is that is getting power. So, um, but the wiki very much says that each of these does about 192 RF per tick. I don't know. This might be wrong. This might be totally wrong. But that's sort of what it looks like. Like none of these are full. So it looks like that's okay. It looks like we're doing all right. So let's get back down there finally, and see if um, if this is. Connecting to our other one. Let's just fall for a bit. Where are we? There we are. Here we go. There we go. Um. <laughs> I forgot to link. I forgot to link it. There we go. Now we're getting it. Now we are getting it. And we are getting power. We're now, what, 100? 100, 100,000? So that's pretty good. So this can basically because these advanced power cells they link up as that's what these um these cards are and it, yeah you, you can see there it says used to connect a power cell multi-block so these are basically they're one and the same it's like the capacitor banks 
and they are one and the same. So we've got 8 million RF storage there, which isn't too bad, not too shoddy, just for two blocks, basically. So that's that's not bad. So we've got this set up. So I'm going to start moving some stuff um, over. And, yeah, I don't know if we're going to make this a little bit bigger. I feel like it, it, we could easily make the... Um, Make the make the ceiling a little bit bigger. Maybe we go down a couple of blocks. But what I would like to check now is whether this will work. And if we go to the hovel, ah, there you go. Level requirement two. So I'm guessing we'll go down to 16 levels. How ace. How lovely. So I'm going to start moving some stuff over. Okay, I have moved. I've moved and I'm making some of this stuff because it should be pretty good. Yeah, there we go. Enhanced energy conduit. And I'm still not really down with the whole micro infinity stuff, mainly because I don't really understand how much RF it is. I'm just too used to RF. Um, but what we're going to be doing here is a bit of this, um, like that, like that put you here and then actually we're going to need some more here as well there we go like that and then that will come on that will do all of that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use I'm going to make another sag mill and alloy smelter and that one's just doing that for the moment and I'm, two of these I'm going to have so that they basically immediately uh, they immediately uh, connect to each other and they'll just filter back into here. Uh, and then the other two columns basically will be separate, will be separate. So pulverizer will just go into there and as will the furnace and sag mill and uh, an alloy smelt. And just, it's just nice to have the options between uh, the pulverizer and the sag mill, for instance, because they, they pulverize different things. So putting cobblestone into the sag mill will get you gravel, but put it into the pulverizer and it gets you sand. So just slightly different things. Uh, I haven't really set this up in any <laughs> meaningful way yet. This is still charging. Uh, oh, it's night time. I added another six wind generators up there. So slowly but surely we're building our power. And um, this is what I'm doing here. So I, I sort of want all of this to be the same. I don't really know where I'm putting all of these machines yet. Um, induction smelter magma crucible i feel will be i don't know what have i done here so i've done it a bit like this here so like that and then uh i feel like oh that was four so ah okay yeah so it's it's basically all of this here that makes sense let's put that just there and I, I, I tell you what I need to make. I need to make some magnum torches, but I don't yet. I don't yet have enough diamonds again. I've used them all with the power cells. Diamonds? Any diamonds? Diamonds? No. No. And what we should also do is hook the wind uh, generators up to our uh, RF tools quarry, just so we get a little bit more, uh, just a little bit more power going to that side. So what I'm going to do is let's do that here. And then we can basically put all of this cable here, like so, and that will be ready then. So induction smelter, uh, magma crucible, I think, and I've, I'm guessing a fluid transposer will look nicely there as well. Um, then let's put, shall we put osmium compressor and metallurgic infuser there? 
and then we'll we'll slowly but surely we'll build all of this up and i've still got my capacitors that i need to hook up and my enchanter atomic reconstructor but just to begin with i just wanted to get this wall sort of done and ready so i am just trying to hook this up here uh, so we have that actually let's do that that'll be a little bit easier oh wow Okay, so I'm, I seem to be having a bit of a problem with the atomic disassembler. It doesn't seem to be wanting to break some pipes, but, uh, well, well, we'll see. We'll see how that works out. Um, I want this to be set. Yeah, this is set to extract. Uh, redstone mode, never active, always active. So, what this should do, if I can get out of here. Come on. There we go. Is I set this up. I've set a chest up here. If we just get some ore here, I'm hoping if we put this in here, that goes into there. Excellent. And then that should go into here. That should come into here. Yes. Excellent. And then that should go back into here. <gasps> yes. Look at that. Excellent. This is working well, lovely. So what I'm going to do is probably set all of these um, to basically come back in here. Now, for now, <laughs> there we go. For now, I'm just going to use this for ore doubling. But but in the next couple of episodes, I want to get on to um, to mechanism ore doubling. Well, <laughs> I said ore doubling. No, quintupling. I, I think that's what you can do with mechanism. You can you can quintuple ores which i i want i want to do i've never done it so i think that will be a fun little uh, test to see if we can do that but uh, i just thought i'd show you that uh i don't have any of the stuff needed to make another alloy smelter or um sag mill so that's going to take me a while i might have to go back to the other base and get some more grains of infinity which are a pain to get but uh, i just thought i'd set this up so i can i can get all the ore out again um like that 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 we are probably quite low on we are quite low on gold because i've been using it for the wind generators but i think i think we're all right at some point it'd be really nice to use all of that stuff so much nuclear craft things uh silver we want as well because why not these clippings are some of the worst things to ever grace modern minecraft um making this organic green dye is such a pain like it is <laughs> such a pain so i finally found that ferns get you like a 60 percent chance of getting them and you can see I, I went to a redwood forest and got a lot of them so i'm now getting that at least that should have given me enough now to make uh, an alloy smelter well actually not that i need that first there we go like that and then I need these machine chassis and then what in I can induction smelter them let's do that uh, induction smelter BAM do that Wow that is such a pain I forgot how much of a pain it was from doing it the first time I clearly I clearly just got it out of my head because it was such such a long arduous process um we should now be able to make an oh no i think i need to make two of these one two right there we go and that oh, wow all that just for an alloy smelter just so i can put that here and now i need to make a sag mill and i've only got a simple sag mill so far so i don't know how um how good or bad this is going to be but uh i'm i'm thinking i'm gonna have to be nearing the end of the episode frankly i finally have a sag mill and now an alloy smelter and i've also made a fluid transposer and i'm probably going to leave these two free for some ender io machines i'm thinking like a soul binder and a slice and splice if that's what it's called if that's what i remember correctly um so we're, we're, we're doing all right i know we're, we're still fairly bare bones about it but um i think next episode we'll actually do some prettification of the all-round base and maybe come up with some plans as to what to do elsewhere around here i've got some slime trees going because i needed i needed um 
I needed some slime, which is always a good thing. So it's it, we're doing all right. We are doing all right. That took a long time just to get all of that <laughs> sorted. Endryo is hard now, um, and it's a bit of a shame because it's such an excellent mod, especially for all of the wiring, um, because you can put wires on multiple, in like multiple wires on in one block space, which is totally excellent. I wouldn't be able to do that as easily with thermal expansion, although I think it is now doable, um, but you need a lot higher tier um, ducts in order to get that to work. So Endryo is still just nicer for that. Um, but the, actually getting the machines is a bit of a hardship right now. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you're still enjoying the series. I very much am. Let's do some hovering. Um, if you liked it, a like or comment is very much appreciated. If you've got any building suggestions, then let me know. Um, I think we might do something with, well, we'll, we'll obviously do something with chisel, but, uh, I, th I think, I don't know. I've got some ideas, but Put it this way, if you've got some ideas, I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, do the subscribing thing if that is your bag. I've been acted. this has been All The Mods 3, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.